Hello everyone, this is Silver Vitorian. Welcome to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Um, see, last time went up through the tutorial zone, um, Spiral Mountain. This time we are going to be going into the first world, which is actually right here. But unfortunately for us, it's locked. We'll be opening it up by using this, um, this puzzle right there. It's missing a single puzzle piece, which we need to fill in to complete the puzzle. So that's how we advance to this game. We fill in puzzle pieces, and puzzles completed will open up new worlds. And we can't actually go up there yet. But the completed puzzles will open up new worlds, and in each world there are ten of these to collect. This is a Jiggy. Um, see, there are ten Jiggies in each world, plus ten in the hub world, so that's going to be, uh, I don't remember exactly how many total that is, I believe it's like 90 or so, but collect the jiggies, and then we can go to these puzzles up here, put the jiggies in, and that'll open up the worlds for us. This first world here is, after bottle shows us how to fill in the puzzle, Film missing space, press A. If you don't want to use any jigsaw pieces, use press B to leave. Though, I'm not exactly sure why you wouldn't want to. Well, I suppose I can see it. If you're trying to do, like, um, fast completion run and just get all the jigsaw pieces in an earlier level and then skip a harder level just to do it another easy one later on, I suppose that would be a good reason. It's better. Anyway, let's go on into Mumbo's Mountain. Um, this is just the first world, so it's going to be a lot of easy stuff out in the open, nothing too bad. Uh, what we're staying on right here is the world enter exit pad as bottles. Right, the world entrance exit pad, which is how which is how we both enter next level. We've got a couple of monsters out here. I don't know what they're called, but oh, can't aim. Let's just kill you and kill you. Alright, um, oh well, so much to explain. First off, let's grab these. These are notes. They are, this, they act the same as the, oh, thank you, Jeff. They act the same as the coins in um, Mario games. You, there's a hundred notes on each world. You want to try to collect them all. Um, something kind of unique about the original Banjo Kazooie is the notes you gather in one play of a world do not stay gathered. Every time you leave, you have to regather the notes. What the game saves is how many you've collected in one play of the world. So the goal is to collect all hundred notes in one go. I do intend to go for completion. That little blue guy out there on the island is a Jinjo. There are five Jinjos in each world. Frontilda has captured um, a bunch of Jinjos and imprisoned them in all the world, so I'm trying to get the move again. I should really go get that. But um has captured a lot of Jinjos and imprisoned them throughout this the game worlds, if you collect all five, they'll give you a jiggy. As I mentioned, there are ten jiggies in each world. Let's, let's go here first. Giant one. Uh, Kanga, I think his name is. Yep. Uh, Kanga's here throwing oranges at you. Big controller. The way you do this is these switches on the ground, you just wanna. Yep. You to hit him. Standard video game strategy. You did really learn not to throw at you if you're on the. Yeah, but. Clever bear got Kanga's gold. Yeah, thanks for your gold. But yeah, as I said, there are ten of them on each world. There's nine actual jiggies, and then you get the tenth jiggy for finding all five jinjas. Nothing too bad. That's the first one. Um, yeah, when you're ready to leave the world, just return to the start area. But we're not going to be leaving until we got this place completed. So let's go over here and talk to this little chimp. Ooh, I believe it's called Chimpy, actually. Um, talk to Chimpy, Banjo. There we go. Chimpy's hungry, wants oranges now. Feed Chimpy. Yeah, chimps love oranges. Who am I to deny you a adorable chimp? Come on, Banjo. Climb the tree. 
Why would we put back your orange? Yes, oranges are nice. Here you go, Chimby. Enjoy. Should be like Kanga's orange. Wait, fat Baron Bird? Banjo is not fat. I mean, he's a bear, but he's not fat. That's just... He's actually pretty buff-ish. These are eggs. We use these as more or less ammunition, as they basically just told you. And here's a molehill. There are... There's not a molehill in every world. Banjo would, or bottles would tell you how many moves you have to learn when you enter a world, but this is where you learn the moves. Just run up the molehill, press B, and you can talk to him and he will teach you the moves. And, let's see, you press Z, then the top Z button to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Pretty useful. And then, you can also shoot them out from the other direction. <laughs> yeah, Kazoo, I would have preferred if you didn't ask either. Let's see. But yeah, you have to crouch, and you can shoot the eggs with the up C button or the down C button. It gives you 50 to practice with, and uh, there's no point to go over there yet. I'm gonna have to come back here and later. Let's go up here, though, and shoot Kanga. Then we just wait and jump. Ow, Banjo, that's not jumping. Okay, that is jumping, but that's not jumping well enough. Oh yeah, another um neat thing with the physics about this game. I'll gotta explain that a bit more, but the physics of this game. But if you're moving when you when when you go to do your um high jump there, you're crouching and high jump. If you're moving while you're doing it, stay off the ledge. I'll actually demonstrate after this scene. Thanks for the other jiggy conga. But if you do this, you'll fall, and then you'll still be in the jump animation, so you'll still jump up. That's a pretty useful trick to him. It's nice to learn how to do it and get used to the physics for it. Still don't have that move, Banjo. Come on. The camera also tends to get stuck in certain camera angles at the time. Let's go over here. Oh yeah, this up here is a beehive. If you destroy it, like so, Three honeycomb pieces will come back, and these honeycomb pieces will actually stay here until they're picked up before you leave the world. So, killing monsters and not taking honeycomb pieces is actually a pretty good strategy, so you can always come back and pick up the pieces later. Monsters also stay dead, I believe, which is another nice thing. Let's just go down here, grab these notes. Yep, as I said, the jiggies are basically just sitting out in the open here. But first, let's get another move. The Talon Trot. This is quite simply the most used move in this entire game. Um, you basically allow Kazooie to walk for Banjo. You move faster, you don't slide on slopes or anything. It's pretty nice. And thank you, Bottles. But yeah, if you talk to Bottles and learn to move whenever you're not at full health, he will fill up your life. Um, I think most NPCs do like that, but yep, Talon Trot. You, if you play this game, you will be using this a lot. You pretty much only use Banjo when you need to do some really platforming, and aside from that, you're basically always going to be in the Talon Trot. So, one thing that's going to make this play a bit difficult is the controller. These controllers I'm using are very old, and they survived Mario Party 1. So the joysticks are a little worn out. Right, this back here is a mumbo tokum. Or ikum tokum, as a lot of people like to pronounce it, just from that little sound there. You need mumbo tokums to talk to Mumbo, who will be running in pretty shortly. And what Mumbo... Uh, I'll explain what Mumbo does when we get to him. No point to ruin the surprise early. But, um, come down here, and there's a few ants here. Kind of jerk ants, really. Yeah, let's decide what's inside the ant hill first. <laughs> Gee, you're one to talk. No, there's a tower. There's another Ikum Tokum. 
That slope there is too steep for Kazooie to walk on even while in the talent trot, so no point in really hanging around there. Um, ooh, some notes. And a jiggy. Cool. That is... It is... You get, you that fanfare is actually pretty memorable. It's not, actually, it doesn't really get too annoying either. It's a nice little sound that is needed. Put the enough notes to break them. Oh, yeah, there are various gates that you need notes to pass. I'll explain more as we actually come across one. They're um, in the hub world, not in the actual levels, but they prevent travel throughout the hub world. Third, you can poke them. Here you get third. Green and yellow. Green and yellow. I don't find them easily enough. Let's jump up here. Notes. Actually, there's a move over here. We want to move first. 